Hi everybody, let's see the solutions for Minecraft in Hour of Code, in code.org. Um, please try to do them on your own first, and if not, you can check the solutions in this video. So I select, for example, Steve, and let's go. Level 1, add a second move forward block to reach the ship. All right. So here I click run when I want to try. We move forward, that's it, run. One step, two steps, done. Let's go with next level. So here we have to walk to the tree and use the destroy block. So one, two steps and destroy. Move forward, move forward, destroy block. That's it. Next level, level 3. Now we have to shear the ships. So, one step, two steps, shear, turn right, move forward, shear. That's it. One, two steps, then we shear the, the ship, then we turn right, move forward and again this block. Seven blocks, expected seven blocks, run and first sheep and the second one, that's it. Whenever you want you can check the code here. This would be the same program in Java. Okay, let's continue, level four. So we have to cut down all three trees. So the program takes take us here. We have to continue, move forward, move forward. One, two. Here we all, always have clues, right? Uh, then we have to destroy block. And then we are going to turn on our left. And move, move, and destroy. One, two, a third one because there is a, a, a last square here. Hop, and destroy. 15 blocks ex expected. Reset, run. First tree. Second tree, we're going to turn left again. This is almost a loop. We're doing the same thing several times. Check it out. Continue. That's it. Let's do our first loop. So we're going to repeat, place and move forward. Place this and move forward. Four times. Run. First one, second one. Third one, fourth. Done. Easy. First loop. Let's go with level six. Here we can choose the type of house we want to build. For example, if we select medium, I prepared here the solution. First part is this area. Then we turn right and we do the same thing two times for these two blocks. And I show you. That's it. First loop. Turn right now. Loop. Turn right. Loop. Turn left. Move. Place. And last loop. Level 6. Easy mode would be like that. That's it. I guess we can do a loop with a loop inside it. This is the first loop for each side and we'll do it three times. The turn right is included. Beautiful. That's level six, easy mode. Let's see, level six, hard mode. 
Okay, so the clue in this level is this point here where we do not have to use the block place. We just do move forward and turn and we don't place the birch planks. So let's see if it works. First loop, turn left, move forward, loop, again the loop, we're arriving to this point. Oh, this is just three times, not four. But the rest, I guess it's okay. Reset, run. Okay, let's see. That's it. Okay, level six completed in the three versions. Let's see, level 7. This is a very nice one. We have to plant here and here. So this would be the solution. First loop here. These blocks to arrive to this point. And then same thing, but doing it seven times to plant crops also in the last block. Check it out. That's it. Level 8. So we have to move past the creepers to this point using, for example, this path, right? So the simple solution would be doing all these blocks, putting these blocks here to do all this path. Look, it works. Right, run. But the thing is that it's not optimized. You see, I'm going to use 13 blocks and I could, I could use a uh, fewer blocks. So let's see how to do it much better. Look, I'm going back again. Check it out, it's uh, in light uh, green color because level 8 was not op optimized. So you can do a loop here and replace these three move forwards with just one and I use two blocks instead of three and here, check it out turn right, move forward, turn left move forward and again, the same thing so this is repeated so just repeat two times up and I use three blocks less total nine blocks Two beautiful loops. One straight ahead and another one doing this zigzag. Let's go with level 9. So here is freestyle because we have to place at least two torches and mine at least two coal. And there are many coals here. So there are many possible solutions. This one, for example, would advance here, placing the torch, and then destroy this block and this one. Loop, destroy block, turn left, move forward and right, destroy block. That's it. You can do the solution you want. Place two torches and mine at least two coal. Level 10. So here to ha we have to create a bridge to cross the lava. And, for example, mine these, these blocks here. So we could use, for example, this solution. Move forward, place cobblestone, look. Move. It's even less blocks than expected. Seven. <laughs> Seven blocks instead of eight. Perfect. Let's go with next one. Okay, here we are going to use a conditional. An if an if command and we have to, uh, to add a move forward command to arrive to this point mining everything so let's put this move forward so it's the stray block if lava is ahead place a cobblestone and then move forward and do this seven times that's it Con the conditional or oh, it's always checking if there is lava to place a cobblestone or not. You see? Six blocks. Okay, our first conditional if do. 
Let's go with 12. Phase 12, level 12. So here we have to do the same thing, but our, on our own, right? Using the if command. So this could be a possible solution. First turn left to move in this direction, and then first loop here and second loop here. Always with the same structure. Destroy if lava head plays cobblestone and move forward and move in like a robot. And now this area. Okay. Then. Level 13. Okay, so now we have to lay a rail. So first move in turn to, to watch in this direction. Turn right. And then, first this area, place rail, and move forward, turn left, no, right, right again, here, and same idea, two loops, nine blocks. Then let's see the last level. Okay, fourteenth. Okay, now as as always the last level in Hour of Code, it's freestyle. Do whatever you want, mixing everything here. So you can do whatever you want, for example this double loop with destroy placing bedrocks and torches, uh, shearing sheep. You can see here what he's doing, Steve. Now he's going to turn. Now in this direction, and all the time he's trying to destroy first, check if there is water, and then shear and move. That's it. And whenever we want, we can come we can repeat it several times and do other possibilities and click on finish whenever you want that's it and now we can obtain our degree certificate of completion okay see you next time